chase on the track. So let's get into it today, you know what I'm saying? Um, Chase on the track. So basically, I had a gig today, or an event. Uh, it was a 60 birthday party. But it was a plot twist. So basically, uh, shout out to my grandfather plug for plugging me for this event, you know what I'm saying? Um, so basically, they hit me up and they were saying, like the night before, right? so basically hit me up. Friday night talking about uh, the venue said you can't bring your DJ speakers or whatever. So I was like, what? So I was thinking they probably had speakers and stuff like that. Uh, so our sound provided. But get to the venue, man. The venue has like a, it has like a, like an old school Turner, you know what I'm saying? Like a surround sound type box or whatever. But it had Bluetooth and it had an aux cable or whatever. So I was like, should I just bring my um, my DJ RCA cable? You know what I'm saying? According to the RCA. So I was just like, I'll bring that or whatever. But uh, I get to the venue, man. So small speakers, like probably a, a good four set. So so basically, I'm just like, oh, man. Like I said, it's straight. I can finesse it. So basically, I was like, um, I'm going to just run from the, the receiver or whatever to my board. But I did that, but it wasn't loud. Ran to another problem, so I'm just like, damn, how I'm a DJ this or whatever. And I was like, bro, I got finesse. And the guy kept saying like, aux and Bluetooth. You gotta do, you gotta have Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And I was just like, what are you talking about? But I don't know. I end up hooking up my iPhone and DJing for like four hours from my iPhone, no app just straight Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? I had playlists for stuff I already made from people or just stuff that I listened to. So that kind of saved me. Like the first two hours was from that. But then it got tricky. It got tricky when the client mother wanted to hear some old school psychedelic type music. You know what I'm saying? Like she provided me a list what to go off of. And it was like totally left field. Like totally left field. Like she was like, um, I'm gonna pull up the messages. She was like, she wanna hear. Okay, this is the list she gave. She said, she likes New Edition, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Usher, Bobby Brown, Jackson 5, Backstreet, Chris Brown, Silk, Sonic, Beyonce, Doja Cat, Bruno Mars, DJ Khaled. I said, oh, that's cool. I got all that. You know, I know about art. But then it got to the point, I think the the mom's brother, I don't, yeah, I had to be her brother. Like, he was, he came up to me. I think he used to be a DJ back in the 80s or 75 or something like that. And he was riding me. Like, he was like, play this, play that. And, Play, uh, what did he ask for? It f it's funny, bro. I wasn't tripping because I mean, stuff like that don't get to me. I take it as a challenge, so I'm like, okay, bet. But the bad thing about it was I didn't have my laptop, and I got everything on my laptop. But the phone saved me, and I was basically adding stuff to the playlist as I as I went, so I wouldn't have to, you know. But what did he ask for? What did he ask for? He was coming at me. I had a fire list set up with what I was doing. He came at me with brass construction. Brass construction. And then another guy, I think that was her brother too. I don't know, ex-husband, I don't know what it was. He came at me and said some, some song called The Men All Pause. They had some songs, like I heard before, but it just, I wouldn't throw it in a reception mix or something like that, but 
It was some crazy stuff. Like George Clinton, like I know George Clinton, Tommy did all stuff like that, but they was really going deep in the folders. And I'm like, bro, like, I was like, this is different. So they just basically tell me, I know I got music, but I need to learn some of that stuff, like from the 70s. I know it, but it's just some of the underground stuff, like that B Street stuff like that. Like I know the main songs, but it's other songs that you don't know. So I'm just like, I gotta finesse this. But um, I, I took the challenge and I feel like I succeeded the challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of tough to DJ a whole party with over like 50 to 60 people you DJing off the phone, hoping nobody called, nobody FaceTime. I turned everything off. I went airplane mode, D and D. I did all of that. So I had the charger, the uh, USB C charge on me. You know what I'm saying I packed that in my bag always. So I was like, man, this is different. I couldn't make my my TikTok video. I didn't get no footage from my cell phone like I usually do. So y'all yeah, ain't get no TikToks, none of that stuff. So. Um, so basically, I'm I'm just venting right now. I'm like, bro, I really DJ. I, I it's not really hard, but under like those circumstances, you know what I'm saying? Like basically, it was just like you trying to please like ten people. You got half of the crowd is like young. They want to hear the TikTok song. They want to hear the line dance song, but then you got another crowd want to hear breakdance music. Then you got another crowd want to hear psychedelic music. Then you got some more people want to hear some some old school. But basically, I was catered to the person that paid me, so I'm like, I'm gonna play well. She wouldn't pay me, and then her mom was like, I don't like that. I want to hear this, so I'm like, damn. Then it came to the point where they want to mix. They want you to speed up the song. I'm like, bro, I'm DJing off an of iPhone, so. Ain't no complaining like that, but I made it happen. You know what I'm saying? Connections is made. I mean, a nice event. I mean, I got a few footage, a few clips or whatever, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get a video. Probably try to make this a 10 minute video or five minute video. I don't know. I'm getting better at documenting this stuff, but I got a few clips and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But this is crazy to me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So. All these DJs that started and think you know what you're doing, bro, you got another thing coming. Like, this is, this is, it's tough, bro. But, um, uh, this is, what is this, December, man? I got a couple more days left in this year. I'm booking stuff, uh, back in Dallas, stuff. So I got more events coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dallas, got some in Mississippi coming up, February. So I'm trying to get videos from everything, you know what I'm saying? So you get a different point point of view from this. So but yeah, so I don't know. I'm gonna title this video. Might be I DJ a whole party with an iPhone. It wasn't my fault, but I made it work. There were no complaints, with no problems. So uh, with that being said, uh, I think this. I think I'm done with this. So it's like two o'clock right now. Finna hop on the duty real quick, but yeah, man, um, we just chilling right now, so. I said, I'm gonna vent on this video, I'm gonna get a video. We went late, we made it on time. So, another, another successful event, so. With that, like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on TikTok, Instagram. Give me a thumbs up. I need some likes on my videos. I'm not getting likes, I'm getting views, but I'm not getting likes. I need that watch time to go up so I can get paid for this. You know what I'm saying? I need to get paid, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I need some sponsors. I need some free. I need free, free, free boxing reviews. I need it all. So let's keep it going, man. You know what I'm saying? 2022 coming to the end. So we going up 23. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? So that bit's out. Oh, and I like, comment, subscribe.